Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to create a QR code using multiple links. So essentially a QR code, one single QR code will allow us to assign different links depending on, you know, a couple of things or categories. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into this website called QR Tiger or QR code dash tiger.com. And then we're going to be creating an account on this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be taking a look at this option right here, which is a multi URL option. And as you can see here, you can then start to select the types of multi URL QR code that we can use. So if we take a look at the different types, these are location, number of scans, time, language, and geofencing. After we have, you know, uh, selected the type and then added in our URLs, you can then go right on ahead and customize the QR code that you have generated and then go right on ahead and download that. Now, let's take a look at the different types of QR codes that we can generate. So when, let's take a look at location right here. So as you can see, this is what the form looks like. We have a default URL that we can use to so say that we're unable to get the user's URL location or they don't match this URL location option, then the user will then be forwarded to the default URL. So say, for example, this can be like, you know, any links that you have, you know, this can be your website um, or store or anything that, you know, um, you have a link to. And then say, for example, that we want to create a location-based specific URL. So you can go ahead and select the country. So say for example, I'm going to be choosing United Kingdom right here. And then you have some optional things as well. So optional in terms of region and city. So say for example, let's take a look at England and then the city, I'm going to go all the way down and then, you know, uh, choose a city, say, for example, the city of Chelsea. Now we're going to be adding the link here. So say, for example, uh, if there's a Google version within Chelsea, I don't know. Uh, I'm just making this up. So say, for example, it's this one right here. So again, this is all entirely up to you. And you can choose the type of URLs that you have. If you want to add another location-based URL, you can just go right ahead and click Add More right here select the country, add in all of these optional items as well, and then add the URL. And then uh, let's go ahead and click generate dynamic QR code. And as you can see, this only works for the premium account. So at the moment I am using a free version. So you will need to subscribe to a premium version to be able to generate your QR code. But what would happen afterwards is that this will create the actual QR code itself. And then you can go right on ahead and customize your QR code. So go right ahead and choose the pattern, the eyes itself, which are these ones, the logo. So if you want to add in your company logo, you can go ahead and do that. The color scheme that you have, the framing right here. And then, you know, th there are some more templates that you can go ahead and take a look at. Then once that you're happy with that, you can go right ahead and download it as a PNG or an SVG file as well. And then go right on ahead and promote all of that and your QR code will work. If the QR code does not work, then just go right on ahead and click on this link right here. It'll give you more information on that. Now let's take a look at the other types of multi URL options or types that we have. So another one is number of scans. So within a number of scans, as you can see here, we have the default URL. And then we have this right here. So essentially number of scans is kind of like uh, sending the users to a particular link or URL, depending on which number of scans there is. So for example, here, say that we want to send uh, the first 10 people to this link right here, then we can go right on ahead and add 10. And to summarize, um, the first 10 people, who will, you know, scan your URL code will be sent to this. And then the 11th person will then go into this default URL right here. So say for example that, you know, we can create 
a promo type link so imagine we have the 1000th person you know we want to send them a link or a, a promotional item saying that they have one then what we can do is that let's uh, go to you know up to 999 for the first 999 people to you know our default or something like this and then what we can do is let's add more and then you know uh let's add them to this you know promotional um link saying that they they have one something so if we you know read through all of this um we will go through the 999th person and then the 1000th person will get this promotional link or this prize link that's saying that you know they have won something and then after this once we get to you know the user uh scanner 1001 this will then refer back to the default right here but say we want to add this promotional every thousandth person so say for example we've had 1000 scans already and then we want to reset the counting back to zero so that the next 1000th person will then get that promotional link all you have to do is to tick this scan loop right here and essentially these will loop itself so we have 999 users and then the 1000th uh, user who scanned this will get this promotional and then it will go back right here and count for the 999 scans once again so that's one thing that you can do for this number of types multi url now let's take a look at the time based multi url qr code so this one is depending on the time zone again you always have a default url and then you need to add in a time zone that you have so this could be you know based on your current time zone so i'm just gonna go to my time zone which is Europe London right here and then this URL type is perfect for restaurants or a cafe so say for example you know we have a restaurant that has three different sets of menu we have you know the breakfast menu we have the lunch menu and we have the evening or the dinner menu then you can go ahead and set all of this up depending on the time so say for example that we have a morning menu at say six in the morning let's change this to six all the way up to uh say 11 a.m then you can go ahead and you know add in your breakfast uh, link right here and then you know we're gonna go into lunch so say for example or lunch or mid you know um food time so say for example this is from 11 till about um four o'clock or something it says that your time has an overlap so let's you know change this a little bit to 1101 and then this could be like your mid uh midday link right here and then we have like a you know for evening or dinner so let's add this um at you know 401 all the way to let's say you know 10 p.m or something like this so this will be the dinner uh, link.com so this is very very useful because you know you don't need to change things you're going to be using the same url and this link will adjust based on the time that you have and again just go right on ahead and adjust your qr code and then go ahead and download it and then another type is the language type right here so say for example that you know we have an ebook or some form of documentation which has different translations so you know uh, depending on the language again we have a default right here you can go ahead and select the language so say for example we have one in korean and then um, go ahead and add in the link something like this and then you know just go right on ahead and add multiple ones so say for example we have one in norwegian and add in another link 
right here so again if you have say a book which has multiple translations then depending on the language that the user is using they will then be referred to the individual set urls right here and then finally one last multi-url qr code that we can use is geofencing so geofencing finally our last type is geofencing for our multi-url qr code so geofencing is essentially you have a location and then we can add some form of radius into it so say for example you know within geofencing we have again our default url and then we can go ahead and add another selection right here so the moment it's currently in london so say for example that you know we want to create a geofence around you know let's say around paris right here but not just in paris but i want it to be you know specific to where the eiffel tower is so say for example let's add the geofence right here and then we're going to be you know increasing our radius to say 1000 meters so this is the radius that we have so the difference between location and geofencing type is that you can be a bit more specific with your geofence so say for example that we have a user scan our qr code within this area then we can go ahead and you know send them to this individual link within this selected geofence so say for example that our user has scanned it from you know outside this border or this radius then they will be set to the default url right here again it's all the same right here go ahead and customize your qr code and then download it and there you go that is all of the different types of multi-url that you can use so you can use a qr code one single qr code with multiple links depending on the type that you choose well i hope that you have found this tutorial useful don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we will see you guys next time